In keeping with uh, making you more aware of some of the ways our customers are using our platform to gain a competitive differentiation, it's my pleasure to welcome on stage Gauri Selka from Walgreens. Gauri? Thank you, Raj. Good morning. Is everyone feeling happy and healthy? I'm super excited to be here today. Data has taken a prime stage, right? Shifted from being an enabler to the organization to a core strategy for businesses to survive. Isn't that exciting? Um, yeah, thank you. I'm Gauri Salka. I'm here to share how Walgreens Business Alliance will uh, leverage data to provide exceptional customer experience. It's truly an honor to represent the phenomenal work of my colleagues in WBA. And uh, few of us are here today. The talented team, I cannot spot them, I cannot see anyone. The talented team under Omkar Patel, who leads our data engineering, and Sunny Sun, who leads our infrastructure for big data, are here. And they will walk you through a Hadoop journey later today. And hope to see you all there as well. So in the next 10 minutes I have, I'm going to walk you through who is WBA, what we do, and how we, the data propels our vision. So Walgreens Booth Alliance is the first pharmacy-led global organization. And we have more than 13,000 stores across 11 countries. And Walgreens is an iconic brand in America for 116 years now and have more than 8,000 stores across the nation. Charles Walgreens Sr., our founder, started the first store in 1901 on the south side of Chicago. His main purpose was to understand the customer needs and provide exemplary service. And that's our DNA even today. So let me tell you a short story to help you understand how passionate he was about customer service. So when customers called Mr. Walgreen to place their order, Mr. Walgreen will repeat the order loudly and clearly so the staff can fulfill the order. And before he entered the call with our customers, the orders will be delivered at their doorstep. And this was back in 1900s, early 1900s. Can you believe that? And this was the dramatic personalized service is what enabled Walgreens to scale very rapidly and successfully even during the Great Depression era. And as you all know, consumers change more rapidly than organization does. So innovation is key for us to stay relevant and provide customer services in the way they want. So let me highlight a few key innovations, what we have done over the last century for us to stay relevant for our customers. As you know, Walgreens was the first pharmacy to integrate the pharmacies across the nation because we wanted our elderly customers to travel to different places and still have access to their healthcare data. And we introduced drive-through in early 1990s. We saw our customers having inconvenience, bringing a sick child inside the pharmacy to pick up their prescriptions. So then we introduced multi-language prescription labels and also connect with the pharmacists in different languages. This enabled our customers to be self-sufficient and feel comfortable to, and stay healthy. So as you can see, our innovation is all focused on what our customer wants and continue to leverage data to understand their needs. And recently, we have launched prescription reminder services and other adherence programs on the smartwatches. Without understanding the customer focus, it is not possible for large organization to be successful. 
Walgreens provides multitudes of services for more than 100 million customers. And our customers are connected through a single customer view through the Balance Rewards Loyalty Program. And, we provide, and our customers also connect with us through all channels. We fulfill more than a billion prescriptions in a year and more than 10 million transactions on a daily basis. And as you can imagine, the magnitude of data elements that are flowing with all these transactions about customers, page, the, the prescriptions, provider, the payers information, the vendors, items, supply chain attributes, the list keeps going on and on, and of course our staffs. So it's very critical for us to synthesize the data so we provide simplified, value-added services to our customers. Let me highlight how we do it. For Balance Rewards program, we just don't provide it only for the products bought in our stores. We also provide Balance Rewards healthy choices, which is to promote healthy habits for our patients. So when they take immunization, when they stay adherent to our medication, to the medication prescribed, we partner with multiple payers in order to promote these healthy habits. This ultimately provides an enhanced customer experience and help us help our customers to stay healthy and also to reduce the overall healthcare cost for all of us. So that is very relevant. And we also provide um, more than uh, seamless integration to our 1.3 million connected devices right now through our award-winning Walgreens app. When customers walk into our beacon-enabled stores, they provide a seamless experience. They can access their shopper list. They can uh, find the product quickly through our aisle. And they can get paperless coupons. And they also can get paperless receipts. And the complete experience is unified and accessible to them through all channels. And that's what helps us to stay relevant. And as you can imagine, data is the foundation for the digital transformation. Right? And organizational capabilities and culture change is extremely critical for us to be successful. Let me talk about what we mean by culture change. We need to make every single decision in a large organization like us, which is globally scaled with customer focus as the first priority. And as you can imagine, it's not easy to do. We introduce the web pick up parking space in our stores, even before the customers advanced with our um, digital channel. And that really helped us to understand what we need to do as an organization to integrate store channel with the digital channel and provide an unified experience. And with the customer first as always the primary focus. And the strategic partnership is extremely key for our success. As you know, there is more, it's more important to stay as a community now. Fast beats the slow. It doesn't matter how large you are. It's a shared economy now. The whole is greater than some of all parts. Is more true now than ever, as you all agree. So data is a critical part for us to build the trust and transparency with our partners. Let me highlight some of the key partnerships we have been successfully garnered in the last couple of years. We have brought back our Express Scripts relationship so we can continue to serve and increase our market access. And we have um, 8,000 stores will be serving as an outlet for our FedEx delivery. So this enables, max, uh, this enables our customers to pick up and deliver the parcels out of any convenient Walgreens location. It's a huge win for everyone. And we started Alliance Rx partnership recently. The purpose is to provide the utmost care for our customers with specialty medication need. So it's important for us to leverage the strengths so we provide the, specific, the improved value to our customers. Again, data is the foundation for all the strategy because we don't have time. We need better ways to make decisions quickly and learn from our experience. 
So let's talk about data strategy. So our data strategy is built upon the optimization required for performance, agility, usability, and security. Security is extremely critical for us because we are the Pharmacy America Trust. So we have multiple levels of access controls and policy controls integrated into our data hub implementation. For specific to the data domains we have between finance and HR and uh, healthcare data. As you know, Mr. Walgreen in those days did not have to comply with HIPAA policy. Now we do, right? Data is the key for us to scale and adapt to this ever-changing policy. And we leverage Hadoop platform as a foundation. And as an open source system, it has enabled us to reduce the cost, especially during the cost pressure we all have in reality now, and also to store massive amount of data that comes from IoT and also to comply with those ever-changing policies. And our data tier is multiple tiers to provide real-time ingestion and multiple different ways of bringing the data sources together. And then we also have different consumption patterns to provide efficient way for us to consume the data. Ultimately, the data is there for efficient consumption. That is the key. So we need our analysts and decision scientists and our partners to connect with our system through data as a service and integrated APIs in a seamless manner. So the Walgreens app is really uh, you know, scaled very drastically. It's because of the efficient partnership we have. And making decision making is extremely critical. So we need to be very, we need to rationalize our tools and technology. So that, is, and again, as I said, the talented teams will be, very, will be happy to walk you through the details at a later session. And any organization, no function can work in silos. Collectively, we need to, uh, we need to come together in order to provide the maximized value for everyone involved. As you know, human capital is a key asset for everyone, especially during these changing times. We need to connect our staff experience with the customer experience and business outcomes. And we need to have proper financial insights so we can make critical decisions quickly and invest in right priorities. We need to tell our partners what products we need when so we can do sale. So ultimately, we need to understand our customer insights. So integrated data hub powered by Hadoop champions this concept. It provides cohesiveness, nimbleness, responsiveness, and ultimately customer satisfaction. I, lastly, I have a personal plea here. For all the passionate technologists here, let us consume the data and insights to continue to make this world better, not just for our generation, for all of the future generation as well. With that, everyone wins. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. And have a fantastic experience at the summit.